Hey everybody, Matt here. I am still going for Shooterborn and Heaven headshots. We're trying to go for Interchange today. So here's the kit. Uh, here, so if you look at the rifle. There it is, M1A, pretty nice. Cheapest suppressor you could get on it. Um, you know, I shouldn't be sh taking more than one shot, so hopefully there's not many issues with it. Uh, first mag is M62s for the tracer, so easier for sniping, and then for getting out of the raid we have M80s with a stack in the in the pouch as well. So, and a grenade just for fun, and just like pretty decent level 4 armor. So let's get into it. And we're in. And a great spawn too, for what we're looking to do. So we might die right here at the beginning, but it'll be worth it because On peak. Come on. Got him. I doubt that was a hundred meters, though. Check real quick. Nope, the first shot would have been, but I missed it. So we are out the back of Ollie overlooking Emmercom. You'll often see people running out here, either running the caches or... Just trying to get in where they want to. Into the mall. I think if someone had spawned, there's a spawn like right here. If someone had spawned there, then they would be here already. We have railway for our exfil. I think if anyone was going to run this way, they would have done it by now. Mm, what did it say? About, about half. I want to keep the M62s for sniping, so I'm going to switch to the M80s. I know I still got one in the chamber, but that's fine. I'm going to go down, loot the guy. He's really out in the open. This is risky, but... Kiver. Alright, we'll see about that. I don't want that armor, he can have it back. Oh, I hit him before. Alright, I actually want to go this way. I hit him and he had used the, uh, the AI too. To heal up. Oh! And server disconnect, so we will be right back. Hopefully you can get it back in easily. Alright, now we're back in. Somehow still alive. Yeah, that's super annoying and scary because usually when that happens it means 
I get disconnected a couple times, so let's really hope that doesn't happen. Do I still have the M80s? Yeah, they did that pretty early on. Not too worried about too many people being outside at this point, unless they're doing the same thing I'm doing. I want to get up in this tower. Don't see anyone up there. It's another decent spot for getting people as they run out of the uh, run out of the uh, superstore or mall. Don't too much god. And then I'll be able to, I'll check his ammo and stuff, see what he had. And it's on the way to our extract as well, so can't really go wrong with that. sees me up here, I'm a sitting duck, but that's fine. Sometimes people will sit here too, for, and just watch along the, the road here. So, I wouldn't say this is the absolute best spot, but it, uh, it's not bad. Just because it tends to, um, it's very exposed, and when you're shooting at people, they're probably coming out of the front or over here somewhere, and you have to get that left to right or right to left shot. You know, very rarely is someone going to be like running along this road or something other than the very beginning of the game. So, pros and cons. I'll probably sit up here and just cut the video until something exciting happens. Well, I think that was a scav, but at least we know we have to aim a little bit higher for the headshot now. We're at about 27 minutes in, um, or 27 minutes left in the raid. There was a grenade that went off over here, but not a lot else has happened. Happened. I think at like 25, 20 minutes, I'm gonna take off because at that point, there's probably only like three or four PMCs left. Um, if they're in there that long, they're probably going out the keycard extract and not. Gonna run over to Railway or Emercom. Realize this has decent sight lines on Emercom as well. Not great, but like if you saw someone running here, you could take a pot shot, and maybe get lucky. Yeah, honestly, we're at 26 now. I'm just gonna just gonna call it. I'm honestly getting bored. <laughs> so um, another great place to go is this window. A lot of times you can counter snipe people in this window from this tower or from outside anywhere. Uh, if they're looking out, you usually only get one or two good shots on them though, because then they scurry back inside. But that's another popular spot as well. I did switch, you saw the tracers, I switched back over to the M62s, now I'm going to switch back over to the M80s. Go down, we can loot that scav, kill any other scavs that are on the railway and make our way to the extract in Railway. Maybe hit up a few caches along the way. The key to Shooter Born in Heaven is patience. And I don't have a lot of patience, so that's my, my problem, but... Another good way to do it is to go to the top of the, uh, the mall. And watch the sight lines that are very long up there. 
there's all kinds of sight lines up there and you can usually get decent shots off. I, I had a chance at it um, in another raid and I gotta go for this if there's a chance at it. This guy's gonna see me. Oh, good God. All right, guys. GG. I don't know how that didn't kill me. That was the worst aiming in my entire life. I wonder if that killed the scab. There's definitely more shots over here. I really hope this scab doesn't push me. That was definitely a player, at least a player scav down there. Bad situation. I need to fix my armor if I'm gonna re-engage him. He's pushing. Was the scav that reloaded? I think he can get in that tent. I think he has to come right here. I wish I hadn't used my grenade. doing this fucking scab dude why can't I turn more
Okay, I gotta reposition. I still have like five minutes. friend is the question I can't hear anything else both my arms are fucked luckily that scout's still alive so Hopefully he'll shoot at anyone that's over there. No, go back over the other way. I think it's just the scab that's still alive. In that guy's AI twos. That was stupid. Alright, I'm gonna put the M62s back in. Before we get up, we're gonna to reload this mag. Should have been doing that while I'm healing. Let's roll like that. Put the M80s back in. Oh, if that's still that scab. Can I please? Maybe this guy can have that back. Take this. What does it have? A 45 rounder in it? Get, get, get out of here with that. Taiga, I don't care about. I'll take the flashlight. Okay. This rig's shittier, or this armor shittier, but I gotta take it for the space, I think. And grab these. that, grab that, wrench bolts, and I'll eat the oak, oak flakes. I should have hid myself better, but it's whatever. I mean, I could really give a shit about this scab, so... If he had a friend, I think he would have killed me by now, so. Really shot at me. 
Well, hello. No, let's not risk it. No than anything there anyway. Real quick. Oh shit. Fuck out of here with that. Go right here for a hot minute. I should keep. Was that the scab, really? I think it might have been. He wants me. Best of luck to him. Let us get out. Let's tug the low ground here, I think. Most people don't camp railway, but we'll be careful rolling up nevertheless. Careful as we can be. I know there's a couple of these trees you can glitch up in. I don't know if that's still a thing. They might have fixed it. I actually forget where the cache is, too. Damn, I kind of want to... No, let's be smart. That was definitely some bolt action, high caliber rifle. A Mosin or something. Maybe M700. Here's one of the caches. Oh, it's been looted. We'll check it. Yeah. Keep an eye to my right. Make sure there's no one running along there that I can't pick off real quick. But don't think we're gonna get that lucky today. All right, no shooter more than heaven kills, but a good raid, nevertheless. I. Through my awful aiming and like bad awareness of that guy, I should not have survived that. I played that extremely boring, poorly. But I sometimes struggle with this, uh, the Valaday scope with aiming because it's just like, I don't know. It's like very zoomed in, even though it's a 1x. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. What was that? Was that a, that was a headshot on the uh, last guy there? Nice. Take inventory. That M1 armor repairs extremely well too, so that's another good thing. Another good reason to take it, even if uh, it's lower durability. I think it might have been pretty low durability already though, like its base may have been repaired a few times. I need to look at that. What's it at? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably just we're gonna sell that. I mean, there's nothing I can do with it's. Oh, I have an M1 down here, but I think M2s are 60 or 65 as well for for their um, maximum. Let's look real quick. And dot two. So yeah, they're 60 for their max. So once you get around like 50% of the armor gone. 50% of the max, that's when you start really getting penetrated by all kinds of ammo. So it's not really worth to keep it at that point, in my opinion. All right, this IFAC goes here. Okay, um, decent AK. Uh, I would never, well, actually, no, it's not very decent now that I look at it. The land tech's, no, is that, that's not a land tech it's an antidote. That's an okay muzzle break. Um, the Elcan on it, I am a big fan of Elcans. A lot of people hate them. I think they're they're probably my go-to scope if I'm doing like something semi-long range because you have this little the sight on top too. A lot of people don't know about that one, but you can actually switch to the sight on top and it's not like anything crazy, but it's not bad. 
I don't know why you would keep an AKM AKMSN because on whenever you have like an AKMS or SN, it just means that it has no stock options. So if I go and I try and edit the preset, the only stock options for me available are these two. There's nothing else you can do because it doesn't have the back mount. All it has is this little shitty mount. So on a rifle that's shooting such a large caliper round, uh, like 7.62, you're not going, you don't, you don't want a shitty stock. You, your recoil is going to be into the moon. So he probably turned the corner, if I had to guess. He probably turned the corner, wasn't expecting me to be laying on the ground, if anything. He probably thought I moved on, honestly, but he probably wasn't expecting me to be like just laying there. So he turns the corner and flicks down at me. He gets the one shot off on my arm with his, what was he rolling with? BP? BP is, look it up real quick. BP is 58 flesh damage. So he might've got two shots off on my arm, possibly. Arms are 60, maybe. Maybe I, I think it was actually low from my bleed or from uh, when the scab shot out my other arm. It was probably at like 55, 58 something. He got one shot off on my arm and then his recoil went into the moon because it's an SN. And even he even put the little butt pad on it, but that's not going to help. You just got to just buy an AKM or buy an AKM or AKMN. If it has an S in it, it's shit. The S stands for shit. Uh, what else? Oh, my hand filter. Unload. He actually had all these mags too, so unload this. PS. PS. All right. PS. Damn. Open for more BS. Yes. Yeah, he or BP, I mean. Yeah, he only had the one 45 rounder or 40 rounder that was BP. Interesting. All right. I don't usually keep PS this late into a wipe just because it's kind of garbage. But. Keep these little polymer mags. They're pretty sweet. I'll actually, sell the aluminum ones. We can keep those two and keep one aluminum. And the rest of these mags can be sold. SP12. Is that good? What is that? Yeah, we'll sell it. This can go down here. We can use that next raid. Um, keep the M80s. Splint, we can sell. Sell the flashlight, sell the condensed milk. Flee, sell, flee, keep. Okay, 6 is a definite keep. Put that down there with attachments. Um, ES lamp, keep. Prop it all. Did I not? Do I not have one of these that I've already turned in? I think I've already turned it in. Let me check real quick. Yeah, I did. I already did prop it all. Or is it not even? Okay. I think it's just found in raid. It just looks funny because it's at the end of the pen. Whatever. Blood set can sell. Those were. Flee, I'll flee the BS2, and I'll keep, we'll just drink this now. All right, sell, sell, sell. And this will sell too, but I can't throw it in there yet. And this as well. And I can't probably can't throw that anywhere eh, down here. All right, so we'll sell, the, sell those. I sell this too, honestly. It's level 4, but it's 21 of... 21 and it starts at 30, I believe. So, no, it starts at 25. So, we'll keep it. We'll keep it for now, but I like I'll just keep using the penis helmets. Never steered me wrong. Alrighty. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll sell all this and, you know, see what that adds up to. I imagine that haul is probably like 400,000. It's not crazy. Maybe three and a half. Um, the AKM's pretty good, and the MP-153 is bound in raid, so that'll sell for a bunch on the flea, and I'll actually take the, uh, I'll take this out, and I'll put a shitty four round in there, sell it for the same price, and then sell this too. But yeah, that'll be pretty sweet.
I'd, I'd say probably about 400,000, maybe 350 with this as well. So yeah. All right, well, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, enjoyed the episode, please leave a like uh, and subscribe if you're interested in future content. I do Let's Plays and Escape from Tarkov. This is my main multiplayer game right now, but, I mean, if I'm really just playing anything all the time, just playing what I like, so lots of stuff to come in the future. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and uh, peace.